students. This time we are going to talk about present perfect continuous. First of all, look at these sentences. Mike has been studying abroad for a year. Susan has been working all night. How long has your brother been living in Spain? You look tired. What have you been doing? All these sentences are in the present perfect continuous form. Now we're going to see how to form the present perfect continuous. Use the auxiliary verb to have. The past participle of the verb to be, which has been, the base form of the verb, and ing, for example. We have been learning English for six years. It has been snowing since eight o'clock. They have been sailing all morning. Now, let's take a look at present perfect continuous in questions. Again, we use the auxiliary verb to have, the past participle of the verb to be, the base form of the verb, and ing. For example, has she been learning all day? Have they been playing football? For negations, we do the same, but we add not to the auxiliary verb to have, becoming haven't or hasn't. For example, I haven't been listening to the teacher. She hasn't been paying attention. Now, let's take a look at when we use the present perfect continuous. We use the present perfect continuous to describe an action which started in the past and continues up to the present. The emphasis is on the duration. He has been painting the house for three days. So, he started painting the house three days ago and he is still painting the house. We also use the present perfect con continuous to describe an action which started in the past, has recently finished, or may still be continuing and the result is visible in the present. I'm so tired. I've been working very hard all week. So, the lady is very tired because she has been working very hard all week. And now she is tired. The result is visible in the present. We also use present perfect continuous for things that happened in the past, but it is not important when they happened. For example, he has been visiting his father a lot. They have been painting that house. We also use present perfect continuous for things that are annoying. You have been playing loud music all day. I have been doing your homework all afternoon. Some of the time expressions used with present perfect continuous are since and for. For example, I've been working on this essay since morning. John has been trying to fix my computer for two hours. And now we're going to compare present perfect and present perfect continuous. First of all, let's look at these sentences. I have worked since 8 o'clock in the morning. I have been working since 8 o'clock in the morning. The first sentence is in the present perfect tense, while the second sentence is in the present perfect continuous tense. The first way to think about the difference between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous 
is whether you are focusing on an action or on a result. So here is an example. I've been reading all day. It focuses on the act of reading. And it is in the present perfect continuous. I've read 100 pages today. It focuses on the result. And it is in the present perfect simple. Okay, the second difference is about continuous and non-continuous verbs because we can use both tenses for something that started in the past but continues in the present. We can use both depending on the verb. Here are two examples. He has known her for a long time. They have been helping me for a long time. Let's analyze the first example. He has known her for a long time. The verb to know is a non-continuous verb, which means it cannot take an ing. And we cannot say he is knowing her, but we can say he knows her. He has been knowing her for a long time is wrong, but we can use he has known her for a long time. Now let's analyze the second example. They have been helping me for a long time. The verb to help is a continuous verb. That's why we can say they have been helping me for a long time. 